right. So we have. Okay. Does everybody have their their combat bots? I oh, sure yeah. do. Cool. Heavy do metal wanna... is ready to. Well, I'm I'm not going to give anything away, but heavy metal is ready. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Mine Did is you... named Buttercup Loves Me. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> in your dreams. And in real life. And um, uh-huh. so yeah, and just so I can keep track, who has like what what um, can you describe? What your bot is made out of which are the the parts i am an iron barrel with steel tractor wheels and a silage knife oh nice i am a tin plated bucket propped upon clockwork spider legs with cheap shears that just kind of come from the center down chop 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 nice and and if I get really angry, you'll see the roto an- anchor just kind of drop. Well, it doesn't drop down. It kind of like has to go from the top. Otherwise, I take out my own legs. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. You don't want to do that. No, no. Spiders need their legs. Yep. So, mine. Thank you, Jordan. I took the extra time to make it look cool. This is something that we had, and I was like, yes, it looks like that. So, mine is a. Copper treasure chest. Oh, yeah. nice. <laughs> and imagine spider legs coming out no. on each side. No, I will not. And the spider <laughs> fangs are actually the sheep shears that slice back and forth. Nice. And um, what else? Yeah, I think that was it. I think that was it. Yeah. We yeah, almost had identical bot. Yeah, you started saying your thing. I was like, yes, yeah, spider bots. <laughs> Okay, so uh, mine is a bucket with uh, spider legs and the uh, pea scythe. So slicey dicey. The pea scythe. I love it. And what kind? What kind of metal? Oh, uh, metal? copper. Ah, copper bucket. Nice. <laughs> You're a copper bucket. So yeah, lots of spider, lots of spider legs. That is the that is a popular one. Yep, yeah, that's our theme. Nice. Spider legs. Spider legs. Will kill the fun size party. <laughs> yeah. Yes. We could be the Spider Squad. We could, but we already have a name. <laughs> nope, I veto the name. Well, I veto. Spider verse. Spider versus spider the into, losers. Into the spider verse. <laughs> Do you get mm. it? Nice. Yes. And yes. So you get it. Can our team captain be Charlotte? Yes, oh, uh, <laughs> it's me. No, Humperdink is Charlotte now. Charlotte, sure. you're a team captain now. Whatever. But you have to answer to Charlotte. Whatever. <laughs> See, and Humperdink can be a team player. I'm, sure. I'm just writing down everyone's uh, stats here so I can, can keep track. Let's see. Copper bucket, nice, yeah. Which I've got to say, I love the things that were the options of what to build from. Right, yeah. they're fantastic. They were wonderful. Oh, thank you. And I, and I typically hate point systems, but this one I really enjoyed. Same. Oh, awesome. <laughs> because A, it simplified it, and B, like it, it kind of makes you narrow in on like what you're gonna choose to be your your best trait. Yeah. Right? right. You have to specialize. You have you have yeah. like Humper Dink, you have one thing. <laughs> yeah, you're one thing. <laughs> yes. Okay, there we go. I have eyeball holes now. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. I know I've got scissors somewhere. Yeah, so with the with this system there was there you basically can't pick the best in every in everything. No, um, which right. is good. So yeah, as you're getting, as you are getting ready, you're into, you are brought down like a, a long um, elevator chamber down into the back of the cavern arena. Um, you can see it's very simple, but um, all the other, all the other people that are, that are going here, including Emmett, they seem to treat this this area with a lot of reverence. Um, you're, you haven't seen the fun size squad; they're being led in on the opposite end of the arena. So that you didn't, so that they couldn't see what you were building, and vice versa. 
Um, I will pay due respects, and if I see any particular type of thing that looks like they're paying homage or whatever, I'll do my best to mimic it. Okay. I just won't fart. (laughs) It's quite kind of you. Emmett, it's like, uh, as everyone's gathering, you can kind of peek out. There is, like, basically three levels of natural shelves, uh, caves, and they're treated like a big stadium seating, and the whole place is just filled with gnomes. Everything's echoing out. Um, as Gemma starts to gather everyone's attention, Emmett will just turn and, and quietly thank, thank you all for this help. This has been a long time since I've competed in the in the championships, and this is this means a lot to me. Right. So can... you want us to murder them, right? <laughs> Yes, murder those bots. Murder them as both, as both no, figuratively I and literally. Murder the other team. Oh, don't do, don't do that. We'll what? get disqualified. Ugh. I, and I want you to know, but if whoever takes it, I want to give you each one of my own creations. He pulls out this little clockwork um, device, and it's like a little animal. It's a little clockwork <gasps> animal. He says, I want to give you each one of these once once you win. And to whoever can I take out Claude Goldsniffer's bot, whoever can take him out, a bounty on his head, I will give you my own goggles. He takes them right off his head, and they're like very high tech. You can't even tell what they do. It looks like they <laughs> do many different things. Yes, I so want those. Whoever lands the destroying blow on Claude's bot. Yes. All hmm. right. So. Good to know. We're getting ready. The arena is packed from stalagmites to stalactites with rock gnomes. I Man. appreciate that you know the difference. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, and as you can see, this isn't just a this isn't just like an open space. This arena is looking pretty deadly. There's a vast array of hazards and traps built right into these stone walls and the massive cave amphitheater. Everyone is loving it. Um, yeah. Gemma is saying saying to all welcome, welcome to this year's Clockwork Combat Championships ah. today we have a very special exhibition Ooh. we have the Fun Size Squad Boom. <laughs> <laughs> versus <laughs> versus Humperdinks, Twinks. Yeah. Mm, <laughs> yeah, and you got a, you got a little like your own little section there. A couple people. Yeah. She says that the winner will win. The there can be only one champion. Me. Although there are two teams, the winner gets the belt of gnome giant strength. She pulls out this big golden plated championship <laughs> title. Like this the is... Texas rodeo belt buckle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the belt of gnome giant strength. This is this is from Garl's personal collection. Is, oh, so is, this is more like is WWE. She within reach of me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, is it's um... would... mm-hmm. Okay. Uh obviously you're a wrestling fan. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You're familiar with Paul Heyman? Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm 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 gonna pull my Paul Heyman, and like, sort of gently push her to the side, <laughs> and I'm gonna stand up to my full height. Be like, friends, enemies, those in between, and you. And I point directly at the fun size crew. Oh yeah. You are stepping into a battle that you will not win. There is no way, on gnomes green glitter goldy earth that you will defeat us we have survived more things in the last 24 hours than most of you will survive in one lifetime no matter how long you live for those of you that have been lucky enough to get a seat to witness this carnage you may have been sold the entire seat but you will only need the edge (laughs) (laughs) I'm freaking quick our name Wait. sounds our name sounds light and fluffy, but let me tell you, it's about to get nutty. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Ba-boom. Yeah, you get some you get some chance there. Humper dinks, twigs. Humper dinks, twigs. Oh, nice. Yeah, that was great. You get inspiration for that for that promo. Cut your promo. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, as you roll, as you um you you kind of the doors slowly open and you you roll your you roll your uh, bots out here. Um yeah, you're each you have these um, big panels of controls to work them. And so yeah, you you don't ever and your your characters don't ever enter your kind of um, behind the walls there, so you can see everything. You just control your bots. Like a little um, hockey rink style, looking yeah. over the glass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. As you can see, then the the fun size squad comes out, and their bots they look they look kind of kind of crappy. Hmm. Yeah, they're kind of like barely put together. Um, and Glo- uh, Merrick, who the guy has been drunk and passed out this whole time, he's kind of like wheeling, walking in on. On his, it's just a big wine. It's just like a giant wine barrel, and um, <laughs> yep. he's like, "Oh, he's like, yeah, he he has to get out." So he stumbles back in, and so everybody ready. All right, ready. let's rumble. And then the door shut. As the door shut, you can see that um, their their appearance of their bots seemed to change right before your eyes. It was an illusion. They are not crappy looking. They are actually really great looking, and they they cheated. They used all the best stuff. Hey. Disqualified. Immediate disqualification. Yeah, we yeah. should be. That that brings a big gasp from the crowd, and uh, one of them even has like a crossbow mounted onto the top of it, and that it has clearly this. Clearly, it's not a farm tool. It has this this piece that you never you've maybe seen it in the scrap peep that looks like a big f- spring loaded frog leg, but you were told that it's been banned from competition and you weren't allowed to use it. Huh? Do y'all not have like a quality control? Somebody that so, checks to make sure everybody's right. Legal? So this is actually like for the first time the crowd starts to turn. They hate this. They start to. They start to Ooh. boo. They boo. Oh, they wanted a fair snap. match. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they don't like this at all. So now, mm. now they're going to, every t- every move you guys make, they're going to get behind you. All right, so let's let's roll initiative. There's four of you, and there's only there's only three of them. But uh, wh- which, which one is Grodbot that we are targeting? Do we know? Um, let's see. It is at this point, yeah, you could do a do like a per, either perception or an investigation roll to see if you can see tell which, who's controlling who. Which one am I better at? Uh, you know, what? I'm just going to go. It's a 17 and I will take my investigation at plus 4, so 21. Oh yeah. Yep, you can tell that Glods is a copper treasure chest with the Rosewood racing wheels. Oh. Nope. That was hammer rolling my dice. All right. <laughs> Kitty wants to play. Yep, and it has bull. It has uh, the bull horns nope. on. It. <laughs> oh, it's 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 ready to rumble. Yeah. Sweet. All oh, right. Yeah, which um like bonus bonus parts did you guys all pick on yours? Uh, I took the roto anchor. Cool. The silaged knife. I have bull charger. I took the bull charger too. Woo! All right. You guys can sandwich. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, combo. Combo. If you both got spider leg. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, Humperdink. There was there was like there was a bonus part that you could pick as well. So the knife is just your uh, your weapon. Your regular weapon. Right. There she is. Look. So you can you can just add one quick. You could. It's like the bull charger. Basically, some horns that you can do a charge attack. As a bonus action. Right. Oh, it was the Roto Anchor. Roto Anchor. Okay, cool. Yes, I did write that down. Ugh. Yeah. My yeah. mustache just fell into my mouth. So that'll let you spin around and hit everyone around you. There yes. was this, looks like no one took this steam blast whistle that'll let you shoot a steamy blast of fire. And then the I- clockwork frog leg was banned. Because, yeah, people just jump around, last forever. It was yep. banned, yep. apparently. Oh, whatever. But somehow, 
they got theirs in. So yeah, with your check, you can tell that that was Claude's, the, the bull charger. Yeah. Perfect. So I, I inform the team which one is his. Yeah. Because I, while secretly, oh, no. I really want to deal the death blow because I like shiny things and cool mm. things. I mean, Rogue's going to Rogue. I just want him destroyed. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you can, um, the other bots that you see, you see a clockwork wedge. So it doesn't even look like anything. It's not, it's not a, a normal item. It is built specifically for this event, and it's just like a sleek aerodynamic um, shape built out of iron with clockwork spider, spider legs, and um, it has this clockwork frog leg, so it's going to be jumping. And it doesn't even have one of the farming equipment weapons. It has a crossbow. Boo! What? And then the last one you see is a big iron barrel with steel tractor wheels and a corn flail. So that's it. That's and the road right. marker. Yep. Yep. And then everyone, um, you and them, you all have this an action you can do, the shover bumper, where you can just get, get next to some. If you're on them, you just push them back, and uh, they'll go 10 feet back. And so if you're around one of these hazards, you can pop them in. So I know we don't have the map for the stream, but don't worry about it. If you, you're pro There's so many hazards that if you want to do that, you, I'll find one for you to push someone yeah. into. Oh yeah. Okay. Fantastic. All right. So let's. Everybody ready? Let's roll initiative. Yes. Whoop, whoop. Hammer, do you want to roll for me again? Mm -hmm. You did. Nope. She's gone. Um, I meant to ask on yeah. the initiative. It's just the bots plus, or is it our? Yeah. Everyone will. Everyone will basically have um, plus three. Because you you can use the tinker's tools and all that. Yeah, okay. use the tinker's okay. tool stuff. Yeah, okay. unless you had unless your character has them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll say everyone gets a plus three. Is just make it go easy. That's easy. good. Yeah. Okay. In that case, I roll a twenty because I oh, have nice. seventeen plus three. I rolled a six. A fifteen. Sixteen for me. All right. Lowest goes first, right? <laughs> what was this your doesn't again? golf. Six. Six. Right. So yeah, Esther, you are getting the jump here. And... As Mark said, rogue's gonna rogue. Oh my god, this isn't getting all foggy. So yep, Esther, you are up. Um, to give everyone and you all a an idea, this uh, map where we are, mm -hmm. it is. Let's see. It's about um, it's about a hundred feet long by about sixty feet uh, wide, and yeah, every every fifteen feet or so, there are there are some some hazards. Nasty I'll, little thing. Yeah, I'll try to put a put one up on the camera here. Here is the here's the map. Uh, if you can see, so you're starting at either end here. We have acid puddles. Yeah. Oh, fun. We have bonfires. Ooh. Ooh. We have uh, saw blades. And then in the middle here is just this big. Uh, it's like it's like a steel plate with a big red like warning track around the edge. Ooh. And up above, you see. You see two things. One, it's like a big, it looks just like a shiny chrome part, and it's a, an electromagnet. <gasps> and then the uh, up ab above it is a, a giant crusher. Uh, so yeah, be careful going through that part. Go, that go one's mean. Yes, yeah, so I don't love that. Oh, and uh, all around the outside is an electric fence. Oh, but yeah, have fun. So stay out of the middle. Don't touch the walls. Got it. Yeah. Or or at the reverse of that is push them into the middle. Push them into the walls. Oh, yep. yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Because if I'm not there, they'll be there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Wonderful. Okay. So. Murder yeah, so Esther, time. So, Esther, you are up first. Okay. Um, Is it like 
all of the bots are in there and rolling around or is yeah they're it... just kind of you're all starting kind of at the edge so you could go up and you could get with your 35 feet speed you can get over halfway through the the um, arena okay so what I'll do is I'm going to take my bot and position it so that I am between the metal plates and the razor blade. I'm on the side that's the razor blade and fire. Okay. In yeah. that little area there. And I've got my bot is standing there and menacingly kind of its spider legs are going up and down in its little tentacle. Okay, and, nice. And so just waiting for there. So that's how far I get out. Cool. So yeah, next up is um, it is it's Lil. As you can see now that now that you're moving, you can see her in the on the on the the edge. She's controlling the the wedge with the with the spider legs, and it has a crossbow on it. And it's so it's gonna get Ooh. it's gonna go over towards you, and it's gonna stay about fifteen feet away from you and fire a crossbow at you. Cheating. Foul. This is this is Foul. cheating. And let's see. Oh, what so my little butts. AC. What she get she gets a thirteen. I'm, ooh, and I'm thirteen AC. So. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep, so she, so she hits you for. Four. Oh my gosh, she hits you for eight. Holy for crap. eight piercing damage. Oh what? my gosh. And you can see that um, people are starting to throw coins into the arena oh. as. As they go into the arena, they're kind of, they kind of are absorbed, and it makes the it makes the hazards power up. Um, oh, so I can't touch them. Yeah. Well, no, it can it can make them worse. Um, I just wanted to catch the coins yeah. because. I'm oh, you cannot stolen. catch them now. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but there'll be if we have any money. of our spectators that also donate, they can give you guys boosts. So anyone yeah. listening right now. You can do a donation to give give a player a bonus to AC or to their hit points, or to you can put out some healing potions. Or um, my favorite is the battle blessing boxes. They're basically if you ever played the Mario Kart, it's one of those question mark boxes, and Ooh, we'll roll a D six, okay. and you will get a you will get a a bonus based on one of many six um gnome gods hmm. so yeah i don't know if i apologize whoever's keeping track of the donations let me know if we get a battle blessing boxes otherwise i'll just dish Ooh. them out because they're yeah. fun yeah they are fun they sound fun yeah in fact we're gonna put one in right oh, no. now oh it's right it's right um it's right on the there's two of them on either end of the big masher pad hmm. perfect so next up is next up is arkney yeah okay so i've got a 35 foot movement okay yeah you could reach um you could reach lil or you could reach one of the boxes i want the box that's closest to us all right remember the metal plate yep so i wanna zoom over get the box and then zoom back Okay, yeah, you can get the plate. Let's see. Da, 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 da. So you have to go through the area just to get the box. Roll first. Roll a d6 and see what your box was. Lucky green, but die. Lucky green, but die. Six. Yeah. Six. Oh my gosh, this is the best one. <gasps> this is Arumdina, the intelligent battle axe of Garl Glittergold's. It's his companion. It's his intelligent Ooh. weapon. Ooh. So you now have a uh, a jewel encrusted battle axe off of your bot, and your next attack is going to do one d twelve slashing damage. Oh! And whoever you hit has vulnerability to this attack. <laughs> oh, wow! Does that only no, work no, once, or can I do it multiple times? No. Once you use it, it's gone. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, and now. Because you entered the zone, the danger zone, roll a d20. 
Eleven. Eleven, okay. You are good. The thing starts to shake a little bit, but doesn't come down. All right, next up is next up is Dace. All right, so spider legs, I can get. Uh, yeah, I'm, you could reach Lil for an attack. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'm 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 going for her. Okay. Straight up. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna try and so her wedge is also on spider legs, correct? Yeah. Yep. Correct. Can I target one of the legs with my sheep shears? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, you can try that. Okay. That is a nat 20 to hit. Oh, uh, you hit. Chop that leg. Nice. Whoa, whoa. Snip, so, snip. So, my cider sp- sidles up and just like, I make eye contact with Lil across the arena and I just smile and chop. One oh, of the legs yeah. gets cut <laughs> off at the knee. As it goes down head first, I just kind of give her a wink. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that'll drop. We'll say that drops her speed by ten, by ten feet. Yeah, that's right. Now I get to roll damage. How much? Yeah. Damage? Ooh, a whopping four points. Four points. All right. But it was in that twenty. Do I? Yeah, you, that still critical. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, so that'll be four points plus uh, another four po- points. So eight points total. Nice. Revenge for Raster. <laughs> yeah, Lil is. She is like. You hear her just like cursing in in Gnomish in the, from the back. Good job. Nice, good job. nice. All right, next up is Glaude. He is going to just dash over and go straight for you, straight for your bot, Dace. What a dick. Let's see what he does. Let's see. Does a 15, oh, 15 hit you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. 15 right. hits, 15 hurts. <laughs> All right. He hits you with the, he hits you with the, the attack, but also with his bull, with his bull charger. God, he's a jerk. So you take a total of seven damage, Ooh. piercing damage, and are pushed back 10 feet. Am I pushed back into anything? This will bring you dangerously close to that bonfire. All right. If we get any donations right now, the bonfire is going to rev up and hurt you. What if we got enough donations that it got put out for 30 seconds? Oh, yeah. It could do that, too. Yeah. (laughs) Depends on who's donating, yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah, they, 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 they can, can be. They can, they can specify, boon or yeah. bane it. Oh. Yeah. Next up is Humperdinck. Oh, yes. Humperdinck, Humperdinck, Humperdinck. I have been watching, um, you know, everyone that goes out there then is attacked by something. Me. So I don't like that. Uh, I, will, um, I will send my barrel bot um, out and, like... Away from everybody. Okay, <laughs> so you're just going like kind of the all opposite side like, you of know, the arena. Probably eleven feet from a wall. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, you're just kind feet. of <laughs> in the bottom corner. You're yes. kind of around an acid puddle. Um, hello. Uh, no, uh, can I be more than eleven feet from the acid puddle? <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, all right. I'm just going to like. So yeah, you're kind of um, you're kind of towards the middle, but really not far. You're just yeah. kind of, right. out, of there, out of all harm's way. Is there anything that I can like taunt? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will. Um, I'll just take my silage knife and like I'll have it like swing it around and be like. Okay, nice. And then from from wherever we're sitting, I'll just. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's my bot's voice. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the next, the last of the fun size squad is Merrick coming in with his own barrel, and he's gonna roll straight at you, but it's it's very slow. It's as slow as your own barrel. Oh, so ow, probably so looks much. it looks really intense, but then you cut away, and they're just slowly. <laughs> so yeah, that'll happen. That'll happen later. 
He's actually headed right through. Actually, he's going to get the other. No, he's he's almost going to get the box, but he's too, he's too slow. <laughs> so yeah, next up, I'm going to drop a new box, and it's going to be right over there by the bonfire, where um, woo, woo, woo. Where, where Dace and Esther are. And yeah, the you can just days. get those boxes. Like you don't. That doesn't. It just costs your movement to touch it. You don't have to use your action to pick up the box. Question: The barrel yeah. bot that just came out, Merrick's. Um, what does it look to be made of? Um, iron. Okay. So it's like a keg, really. I know I said wine, but it's probably more like a keg. Okay. Your keg. So yeah, Esther, you are up. Um. You have Lil that has just been clipped of a spider leg and taken a critical hit sheep shear attack that is um, about 15 feet away from you. And you have a box behind you. How far away is Merrick's barrel bot from me? From you, probably about, um, about, about 35 feet. Okay, so is he on his side that what I can do is use my spider legs to tuck my head down and I'm going to bull charge him and try to yeah. like use my shears as like a scoop so that when I bull charge it kind of tosses him oh, trying cool. to flip yeah. him as he trying yeah, to flip you him flip, as he flip. yeah you can definitely do that you see that his is like his is very unstable because it's actually upright and only has two wheels so it's like this oh yeah time. flip him, so flip him. <laughs> all right Arch forward yeah. with bull charge trying to hit him into that center magnet okay nice so i'm trying to flip him upside down on the magnet cool all right let's <laughs> let's see it turtle 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 i know right it's like, ah. <laughs> okay so um it would be the 18 is what i rolled that's a hit so yay so it says with the bull charge i get an extra d6 of damage yeah yeah mm. So you're gonna yep. yeah come in and do I get to do damage jam. from my shears? I do. Oh yay. yeah. Okay. Yep. So that's gonna be three d six total that I'm rolling here. So we've got a four, a five, so nine, and another five, so fourteen. Nice. Ah. That is a, that is a yeah. direct My little hit. spider just sits there and with one little paw leg, it comes up and goes. Eh, 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 eh. Nice. So <laughs> let me see if he's uh, flipped. Is that like yeah like that? Oh yeah, he's flipped. Yeah, turn and he's so he's into the compactor now. You're right on the edge of it, uh, but he's in there. Let's see if I happens. still have movement, I will try to skitter away from the magnet. Okay, if I have any. Movement no, that was probably all of it to get there. Okay, but yeah, so he but he is in there. Yay! Cool. Next up is Lil. She is going to use the frog leg and bounce out of here. So she's just going to move like. Um, so Dace, you were like right, you know, you yeah. had just gone in, and she's just gonna jump over your bots and land right on the other the side of you. That's yeah. cheating. Didn't ever anyone ever tell him cheaters never win? She does oh, always cheater. win. How do you think I win cheater. anything? She's gonna, she's gonna do that. Um, you can make an attack of opportunity, but okay. you'll have disadvantage. Okay. Uh, I got a. Got a sweet, sweet uh, seven to hit with this Okay. Advantage. Yep, that's a miss. Yeah. And, she, and she's going to definitely just target you with this crossbow. Oh, she hits you. She hits you with a 19 for four piercing damage. Oof. Not impressed, Lil. And she just kind of gives you a look from the other side, like, hmm. And next up is Arkney. All right. Um, all right, so of our opposing team, the whatever they're called. The tiny things. The fun size squad, yep. The, the fun, fun size, size squad, squad, yes, thank you. The cheetah um, faces. Uh, who would be closest to me? Uh, right now, um, Merrick is in the is closest to you in the in the danger zone. Under. Okay. Yep. Other than that, um, Claude is making his way over, so he's he's close as well. You could reach both of them. 
Um. Hmm. I think I'm going to go you that, charge. You got the battle axe, right? You got Armdina. Mm. I've got the, the best yeah, one. yeah. Mm. Hit it. <laughs> yes, thank you. You're um, welcome. I'll go with uh. Hit the one that gives me a prize. <laughs> the which one was closest to me? Uh, Merrick. Merrick, yes, I'll go after him. All right. Oh, yeah. This one flipped upside down. Yeah, Merrick flipped what upside down in the compactor. Yeah, yeah, you'll have advantage on this attack. And oh, that's true. Because you're using this magical battle axe, he'll have vulnerability, which means it'll do double. Yep, I'm going to do oh, that. Yeah. I'm going to do that. Murder. Death to Merrick. Destruction. Okay. Yes. So. Overload. What do I add for attack? Finish him. Uh, plus plus three, and you have advantage. Good. Okay. That's a ten. With the so, advantage. To hit, yeah, because I rolled a seven and a four. Oh, okay. So what's gonna? There's um. <laughs> do you have any inspiration? Yeah, it goes down. Someone throws a big. Someone throws some coins down oh. into the the arena and it's going to give you another inspiration. And you can see it was um, it was, it was was Gemma that threw those. Aw, oh, oh. thank you, Gemma. She's like, you can do it, you can do yeah. it. Yeah, okay, one more try. Yay! <laughs> oh, I rolled a two! Oh a two? Okay. No! Toss a coin <laughs> to your battle bot. Just wait, just wait, I can, do you allow passing of inspiration? Yeah. Okay, I'm passing you inspiration all over. Okay. Okay, thank you. It's another two. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's not so meant to be. So okay. it's just a swing and a miss. But now roll a d. Uh, roll, roll the d20 again for the for the masher. Five. Okay, it starts to. You're okay. It starts to come down, but it like er, 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 gets stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is is Dace. Okay, so Merrick flipped it in the masher. Uh, did yep. Lil grab the box? No, she didn't. Okay, so uh, I'm going to actually, you know, what? I'm going to charge her. I'm going to use the 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 shover bumper oh okay and, and i'm yeah. basically going to try and push her into the next hazard and move through the box all at the same time okay cool <clears throat> all yeah. right you could uh, you could choose your uh, saw blade the electric fence or the acid pit you can push her in any ooh, three of those ooh. acid pit okay cool yeah. all right inspiration not 20. Yeah. Yeah. I, went, I, went, I, went, I went from a five to a nat twenty. Nice. Cool. Moving so, on. Yeah. So take uh, um. So that yeah, you push her back, and she goes yeah. into the acid pit, and it's a critical critical hit. She tumbles over because the spider legs couldn't handle it with the yeah. clipped one. Yeah. So that's gonna be four d four acid damage. Ooh. Thankfully, I have plenty o d fours because d fours <laughs> are amazing. All the Caltrip Ooh. dice. Yeah. And two critical right. hits on Lil. We got a three, a six, a nine. Nine. Yeah. Nine. All right. Twenty seven. So yeah, twenty seven. No, it was nine total. Oh, on, oh, oh, a three. Be, be, oh, you because, said a three, a six, a nine, and a nine. And I was like, what? No, <laughs> no, no, nine total. I rolled yeah. a nine on my D4. That's awesome. yeah, yeah, I know. I was like, I don't know how we got nines, but this is amazing. <laughs> and, then, and then what do we get to roll for the acid damage? Oh, that, was the, that was the acid damage. Oh, oh, so you, then, then we have more damage because the shover bumper did critical damage as well. Right? Oh right, yeah. So that probably I'd do another two D four then, because that was just Ooh. the critical yeah. acid. So yeah, so that's another D4. six points of damage. Nice. 
So yeah, she is. Um, her bot is about to fall apart. It's leaking all sorts of motor oil and stuff. Eee. I'm, uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna look at her and give her like a nice queen's wave. <laughs> and she like slant, she like rage slams the oh, you're doing controller the down. You know. <laughs> nice. All, all right. right. Oh, and the box. Oh yeah, you got the box. So roll a d6. Uh, three. Three. All right. All right. Da -da 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 -da. This is. Uh, Baron Wild Wanderer, and you get a mushroom. You nice get a mushroom. How'd that Ooh. get in there? Do, 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 do. A, yep, a speed boost mushroom. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Nice. Ba -da -ba -da. All right. All right. Uh, next up. Next up is Glaude. Uh, Glaude, he sees the he sees Humperdinck um, taunting there, and is like, "Oh, this guy's got to get it. Got to get it good." So he's gonna aim for Humperdinck. Oh, he hits with an 18. Ooh. This is a charge, another charge attack on Humperdinck. On or me? Seven. On Humperdinck, yes. What does... Ha! <laughs> me! They're trying to eat the rich, run! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's well, I'm poor I'm... now. Well, it's M.O. How, ma how many damage? Seven. Oh, okay. You can take it, Humperdinck. You can take it. I can. I mean, I suppose I can. Yeah. I do. And you're and now Glaude is right in front of you. Oh, and it's your turn. Yes, and that's that's the one that gives me the prize. That's the one I want to hit. That's true. That is true. Yes. yes. Payback. Yes. Opportunity. And, but there's no there's no more boxes, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. No more special boxes. Yeah. So I will. Um. Am I being upstaged by an adorable child? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Unbelievable. This one time, yes. Um, I will uh, pull up the page that says what I can do. I'm going to <clears throat> attack him, obviously, with my um, silage. Can I, I can do a silage knife or push it? Yeah. Okay. I and yeah, you've got some. You've got some. You could hit him into. An acid puddle, or into the compactor zone. Uh, we're going on the highway to the compactor zone. All right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. Right, I love you. I love you. Highway to, to the compactor zone. zone. I rolled a <laughs> six. Oh, six to hit him. Yeah. Is that? Yeah. He, oh, he kind of get plus. He gets uh, a, oh yeah. Plus three. He gets out of the way, but same thing, like from someone, some random gnome from the crowd who's like, boo, you know, boo, and like cheetahs. doing quads specifically is going to throw in some coins and give you uh, inspiration. Yes, I love coins. Well, that's uh, rolled a two on that one. <laughs> Maybe stop throwing the coins. <laughs> or throw the coins for us. Just just give me regular money, please. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Yes. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, so I will um, stay. I will. I will just kind of make myself between him and nothing dangerous. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah. So if you even if you wanted to push you, he'd have to really mm -hmm. move around to do mm -hmm. it. Yes. So next up is Merrick, and he's still just slowly going towards you. No, he's he's prone. Right? He's prone on the thing. Let's see if he can even uh, get up. He can't. He can't even get up. Yeah. He's gonna, yeah. He's gonna try to make an attack onto onto you, Arkney. Right? Is your who's there? You're there. That's me. Yep. Let's see. I'm so bothered by the cheating that my facial hair is falling off. <clears throat> he's doing what? He's doing well. He got a 17 to hit you. So that's gonna be. That's gonna be a big old one. One bludgeoning damage with this Ouch. Corn, corn flail. That's a pain. Oh. And let's see what happens. Wound. He's in the. <laughs> nope. Again, the thing starts to rumble and eh, it's just kind of squeaking back and forth. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool. Please don't smush me. <laughs> and let's see, it's box time. Da -da 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 -da. Yes. What's in the box? Yeah. <laughs> nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh, it's it's gonna it. be 
Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be a box right in right in. Let's say right like by the entrance, so co sort of by Glaude and Humperdinck. It's mine, dibs, dibs, dibs. <laughs> And we're back up to the top of the order here. Um, Esther, you are up. Okay, so I'm, I'm yeah. trying to figure out where everyone is around me because I'm visualizing Humperdinck and um, Oliver's uh, character, uh, Archimedes. They're kind of on the opposite side from the magnetic center, if I'm understanding correctly. Yeah, yeah. Here's like a, yeah, I'll try to give every, here's a summary for everyone. Uh, we have, uh, Merrick and Arkme are in the danger zone. Uh, Humperdinck and Claude are kind of like right here by okay. your starting zone. I think you're up here by this bonfire. Yeah. Uh, and then Lil, Lil was here and she bounced away. And then yeah. Ace, where did you go? I would have been near the acid pit, yeah, right? Because the that's because yeah, I shoved you, yeah, you, Lil you were into here it. And you pushed her into it. Yep. So you're. Yeah. Over and there. then I backed up a tiny bit to get the box. Yeah. So yeah, Esther, you're like here. You can you can yeah, probably reach. That works Claude so well. We're going after. Or him. Yeah, that works so well. We're going after Lil, and I am. Okay. Yeah, I am again. Her. I'm again going to because it works so well. I'm going to bull charge again towards her and try and throw her into the electric fence round. Okay. Cool. It. So he's in the acid pit, so you might take some acid damage. Oh, oh. He's actually in the pit. Well, then what yeah. about the one that was next to her? Uh, the that's me. I thought there was another baddie that was there. Oh, you could hit, uh, um, let's see, Glaude is like right here. You could get him into this acid pit. Okay, then we'll go that way. We'll go okay. after Glaude. If she's already in acid, let her burn. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> let her burn. So we'll charge her to um, that one, and so d20. Do, do, do. And we rolled an 18. Oh, nice. 18. That's so a hit. That would be a hit. Yay. Okay, so that'd be yeah. three again. Because that was full charge plus the other two. So that'd be three D6s again. So we have, oh, a one, a four, and a three. So we have eight damage. All right. Burn, and baby. Take burn. Some acid damage. And you can see that actually, as he is, as he's going into the acid damage, so you can do 2d4 more, someone from the crowd throws in another coin. Um, and that acid... Is a one in a four or five. Okay. That acid, as they throw it in, you can do two more, because it starts to just, like, bubble and violently pop up. So they... They supercharge. Oh, so they the supercharge my acid? Yeah, they're all trying to help you. Yeah, this go is team. one trippy ride, y'all. Um, <laughs> you had one more acid. Yeah, D4? two more, two more D four. Oh, two more D four. So that makes a three, and a two. So five more points. All right. So yeah, it's starting to his is starting to fall apart too. <laughs> and so yeah, basically all their bots are are about at half uh, about at half damage here. At least some of them are close, closer. And Merrick's Merrick's uh, barrel is still upside down, right in the middle. <laughs> next up is next up is Lil. She's going to frog jump out of the acid pit, back basically right in front of her own starting line. And Dace, she just has it out for you now, man. She's just grudging. Uh, huh. I, guess, I wonder so. why. Yep. So she's gonna try another. Oh my gosh, she got a she got a critical on you. Your own dice, oh, your own dice against you. Hoist upon your <laughs> own petard. <laughs> oh. Worst things have happened. It was feeling a little bit minty fresh. So that is, I think that's fifteen piercing damage. Ooh. So I'm dead. Oh, you're dead. Mm-hmm. Oh no. No. Ah. Oh. Well, so yeah, not not yet. So all the battle bots, all these combat bots, they all have this this thing called the unstable scrap. So when you're <laughs> at zero, you yeah. can't take you can't take actions or reactions or anything, but you can still move for a while. And then it said for one d four rounds. I'm just gonna say it's like as a detonator here, <laughs> make it extra fun. So whenever yeah. you choose, you can blow your blow yourself up and anyone around you. 
Okay. We have a self-destruct button. That is amazing. So, uh, and I you have your I'm, mushroom still too. That'll work. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. And, and I think it's me now, correct? Uh, Ar Arcne, then you. Yeah. So yeah, Arcne, you have Arundina still after a couple, a couple swings and misses. You still got a prone Merrick right in the danger zone. Okay, so I don't want to go after him with the battle axe, but I do want to use my pea scythe. <laughs> so. Right. You don't want to use the battle axe? Pea scythe. Mm. Kill it. No, because the... Kill it. The other... Oh, I'm bad with names. The other what's-his-face that if we kill him, we get the reward. Oh, uh, okay. Save yeah. that for him. Rod. Cool. Okay. So... <laughs> 11 to hit? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's easy to oh, hit. Big target. Ooh. Yay! Okay, okay. And, oh, I rolled a 4. Alright, 4 damage on on Merrick. So, yep, he's, he's, you're, you cut open with the scythe, you, you stab into it, and now um, ale is pouring out of the keg. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, and roll a d20 in the danger zone. Oh, crud. Thirteen. All right, you're good. You're good. Okay. Yeah, but didn't even Oof. move that time. Yay. All right. And then can I can I zoom and leave the magnet? Uh, yes, yes you can. Yeah. So you're heading over towards Claude. Nice. Next up is Dace, and yep, you still All have right. that mushroom. I do. You're so, about to blow. So, is there a? What's the barrier like between the arena and Lil? Um, I want to know, like, if, oh, like I, if, if I, if, yeah, like if I detonate my bot, am I just killing her robot, or could I possibly hit her with some shrapnel? Yeah, she, her bot is actually <laughs> standing right in front of of her, yeah. and um, it's only like a, it's like um, probably three foot boards, like a hockey arena. Okay. So Perfect. she's on the other side of it. She's short, so, but she's on the other side. So I'm going to use uh, my mushroom, all my movement, whatever it takes mm -hmm. to place yep. myself underneath whatever is left of her wreck, and I'm going to detonate. Nice. I support this. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, you don't even have no. to. Oh, you don't even please. have to roll to hit. It just happens. Yeah. Nice. So, I scurry underneath, and and like it, it's weird because it's it's just a pile of parts at this point in time. But somehow it moves faster than any <laughs> any of us have moved so far. And as I drive yeah. it underneath Lil's uh, fucking frog leg, I uh, I look at her, I give her a couple of thumbs up, and then I just go. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And as my hands does. come down, I hit the button and. <clears throat> Yeah, it blows up. Her her bot also explodes. The shrapnel of her own bot goes mm. flying. She and she like has to dodge out of the way of it. Um, actually, her her um, her badger Miel instinctively <gasps> jumps in front of her, and uh, oh, no. it doesn't hit him either. Don't worry. Good. Yeah, okay. but he 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 swats it. And she is we out. Like Lil is out of the competition. We just don't like Lil. <laughs> oh. Yeah, oh that my. gets it, and that gets such a huge, huge, huge reaction from there, from the crowd. That was well played. Well played. Well, if I'm if, I, if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna take someone out with me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just like real life. I'm so proud of you. All right, Glaude, Glaude is up, and he's like, "Oh no, that was our best player." <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's going to. Um, you mean your sees... best cheetah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. He's gonna. Um, he's gonna just take a, a swing at Arkney with his with his weapon. No, char he's not gonna charge. But he's got the. He's got the clawed Haro. It just looks like a big thing with spikes that comes down. Yep. Oh, he might. He got a fifth. 15. He might 15 miss. hits. I've oh, got a 14. Okay. Ooh. 
So he does seven piercing damage. Uh, but uh, he, he's in the danger zone now. Are you ready? Ooh, it was. It came down like halfway and then stopped all of a sudden and went slowly yeah, those are back. I'm playing a game with. Hi. Uh, Humperdinck is up next. Oh yes, right. Well, I am going to. Uh, is it only only bad guys around me? Um, yeah, I think. Um, let's see. Yeah, no one's directly next to you because. Um, he got pushed into the acid and then he came back so yeah the only one like next to you is probably esther okay but you could you could reach some bad guys in the I, danger zone i would like to get um close enough to do the roto anchor okay i'm Ooh, going yeah. to roto anchor the, the, roto the anchor. prize one i don't nice. care about yeah. anybody yeah you can hit both claude and merrick in this one yes Yes, both of them. Um, right, so attack. Attack, 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 attack. That is a uh, 15. That'll hit both of them. Well, it says I have oh, to roll Oh, right, roll I have again. to roll yep. twice. Roll twice, yep. And so that, that is a, a 22. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That hits both. Right. So, uh, and the damage is... Um, oh, where did it go? I don't know how I do damage. It just says a melee attack. Oh yeah, what what? Uh, you have the you have the, the silage, silage knife. knife that does one d eight yeah. slashing damage. One d eight, right? First one. Uh, it's a five. All right. And an eight. Eight. Okay. Let's see. Oh, the eight on Merrick yeah. is the the Glaud is still up, but the eight on Merrick is just enough. You saw through his, uh, you saw right through, and all of the ale spills out, and then it, oh. it just pops. He's gonna be so falls sad. Down. Mad. <laughs> so yeah, and it's Merrick's turn next, and he's just gonna blow up right next to you. But that that's not. Uh... I'm right next to Glaude, too, and I think Arkney is there as well. Yeah. So, all of you take, well, two um, fire damage. Two. So now it's... Okay. It is, um, there is a... Another box is going to pop up. <gasps> Dibs. <laughs> And it's right in the middle. It's right in the middle of the danger zone. Mm. And right now, I think Esther's the only one not in the danger zone. But you could reach it if you wanted. I missed my turn off on Pike Twenty Three. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, Pike Twenty Three is such a such a it's a tricky yeah. one. Yeah. All right. It is, it okay. is. Well, no, I I detonated myself, so I'm dead. Am I not? Yep. I mean, yep. I, I. But yeah, yeah, you're dead. Yeah. One little spider leg. But your thing. yeah, if your character wants to like mess around, and oh. you can like oh. cheat okay. and toss so, stuff in if you want. Okay. So Dace can act. Okay. Um, you can sneak in. Nobody will notice you. No, it's true. Actually, <laughs> oh, you know what I'm gonna do now? So I'm gonna go around the arena, and uh, I'm gonna use my sleight of hand skill because that's the one thing I'm good at to try and mess with their controls the next time they go for an attack. Okay, cool. So yeah, you took off a while ago, so that way on your turn it'll you'll be uh, you'll cool, be there. Enough. Yeah, okay. nice. Perfect. So yeah, next up, top of the order is Esther. Okay. I'm so lost on target. Um, which by oh, yeah, yeah. at this time looks the most well, functional. There's only one left, and it's only Claude. Oh, I thought there were two left. Okay. Um, no, the other one just blew up. And so, yeah, you're here, and everyone else is right Claude! I come for you! <laughs> and little spider legs will scramble over with my sheep's ears, and we're going to try and do the tuck flip again on him to see what happens. I really like that move, apparently. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, that is like a. I feel like that is like a classic uh, BattleBot move. Right? You know? Yeah. I did BattleBots before, and it's fun. Oh, and awesome! So I literally, when I saw this, I was like, "This is my jam!" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so um, I rolled a twelve. Twelve. Oh, but do I have any bonuses? No, there's no like. You get a hit. plus three to hit. Like everyone just gets three. Okay, so that would make it fifteen. Yeah. Yeah, okay. that's a hit. Oh yay! Okay. 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 So yes. So as the shears punch forward, they'll do. Where's my d? My d6 just ran away. There it is. Okay. <laughs> just six and one. So seven from the sheep shears and the additional d6 for the um, bull charger. Gives four more piercing and get knocked back ten feet. All right, yeah, he was he was going for the Claude was going for the box and didn't you hear the Claude dibs? You pushed him away. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Yep, and he Claude is looking bad, looking bad off. My little spider treasure chest is just kind of standing there, like yeah. doing this. Oh, and roll a D twenty. A D20? Okay. For entering the danger zone. Oh, no. Okay. I found my exit. 16. Okay. Nothing happens. Uh, next up is Arkney. All right. I'm going yeah, after Lil, last yeah. one standing. Cool. Yeah, Lil just, like, rage quits and mm. it's, like, a throne of fit. <laughs> yep. Yep, as expected. Okay, so I'm going after him uh, with my battle axe. Oh yeah, RMD another battle axe. And then, can I use my bull charger with that? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's do that. Got it. Um, fourteen to hit. Oh yes, that's a hit. Yeah. Okay, so battle axe and then bull charger is a D6. Yeah, that one's a D6. Plus a D12 that's times two for this magic axe. Yes! That was very wise now. I see why you saved it. Yeah. Ooh, Oliver got all the bitty cheers from Maddie. Yeah. Um, Thank you, Maddie. That's 12 damage. Oh, yeah. So with and that, he's got vulnerability. Yeah, so it basically just slices straight through it and then makes it makes it explode at the same time and yeah with with uh with garl glittergold's own magic battle axe he cuts he cuts his servant uh the servant's bot in half and with that um everyone's on their feet and they're all cheering and mini torches uh, go up and you, uh, you just hear yeah we are the, the champions. champions. I still want to go and get that last mystery box. Humper Dinks, twink. Okay. Well, they're still. <laughs> um, they're still. They. Uh, they all kind. Of, then there's like an awkward pause, because they're like. They're no, the only no, one. we have to. What? I did not read the rules. <laughs> But why? Oh but, yeah. So, uh, Gemma uh, gets on her like thaumaturgy announcer system. It's like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sweeties. They're really, they're, that's the rules. There, there can only be one champion, not three. <laughs> no. Can we just vote? <laughs> Chad said that the Undertaker is cashing in the money at the bank. <laughs> 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 It's wow. Humperd yeah, so it's Humperdinck's turn. You could vote by like, um, and then just the other ones just jump in. A, well, I'm not a going to be the only one to vote. Uh, <laughs> uh, see, obviously, obviously, I am the champion. It says that in chat. Right. Well, I will. Um, which one has taken more damage? Um, oh, out of the three of you, yes. I think Esther. Well, I. What, taken damage? Yes, I'm going to murder you now. Uh, <laughs> I've only Ouch. taken 10 points. Sorry. Not I've also only taken 10, so. Yes. Has Humberding taken any? I have taken 9. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, Oliver is not the champion, he is a child. What? 
Oh, are they next to each other? Can I do the roto anchor and hit both of them? Hey, uh, no. Oh, they are. They are <gasps> oh, next to each other. We are. Guess yeah. what I'm gonna do. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Any anything that I can do to like hit yep. them all yep. at you the take same them, time. You can hit them both. And murder. Wait, I thought it was one team, not one person. <laughs> That's no fair. It's a right. Prank. Three this bots one. enter. One bot leave. First yes. one Typically, is, though, it was six bots that entered. Uh, ten. Well, yeah. uh, I rolled a ten and an eleven. <laughs> Does that Dodge hit you guys? <laughs> no, it misses. Uh -huh. I was coming for a hug. <laughs> sure. Um, oh, roll a d20 for being in the danger zone. Oh. It might happen. It might happen. That's a natural twenty. Oh, oh, no, nope, other one happens. Nope, nothing. Uh, it just actually goes all the way up with that and looks like it starts locking back in. Look, I'm saving us. Did I do that? Yeah, yeah, look, I'm saving us. Oh, okay. Uh, so I'm so a team, I am a team player. This is the Oh, one and there thing was the box yes, and in the, like right the in the middle. Box. So yes. roll a d6. My box has a five in it. Okay. All right, let's see. Five. Oh, this is Galdrell Ironhand, the goddess of protection. She builds a miniature Stronghaven fortress around your combat bot. Whoa. Says, Until the end of your next turn, your speed is halved, but your AC is plus 10. <laughs> no. Oh, wow. No, it says AC is it says, plus It says, 30. you know what? Carl just tripled it. Your AC is plus 30. What? Come at me. <laughs> yeah. Instantly, this little this little fortress just builds around you. Plus thirty and half speed in the danger zone. Yes. I look over at Archby. Are we doing this? Oh, we are for All sure. Right. So All then we're right. just in the danger zone. Four more boxes, one at each corner of this little danger zone, which is only a fifteen by fifteen cube. And it's All Esther's right. turn. We each get two boxes. <laughs> okay. So. Now presuming, at least for now, Archimede and I are allies against Humperdinck. Oh, yes. <laughs> take out my frustrations of travel. Nice. And I share, tell I share yeah. everything oh. I have. Sorry, one, one moment. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I forgot Dace. Dace is in the back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, I, oh. so I've got Sorry. Grodd, Lil, and Merrick in front of me still. Yeah, they don't. Have, they, or, they're, they're, you're behind them. Yep. Yeah. They don't see you. Uh, does it look like any of them have enough parts to quickly, like, put together a bot? Um, no, but there is some other bots, like, lying, um, nice. lying around right. from those so two I, kids, Tick and Talk, yeah. Sweet. So, <laughs> so I'm going to grab the, 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 the bot that won that battle. Yeah. And, uh, I'm going to drop it into the arena. And uh, I'm gonna go up behind Fun Size Squad, and I'm gonna give him a great big hug. Aww. And it's not gonna be gentle. <laughs> I'm gonna ma I'm, like I'm gonna kind of basically like grind their ears together. <laughs> yeah. And then and then like, excuse me. Some of us have work to do. Yeah. And I'm grab some controls. Nice. So yeah, you got a tin a tin bucket. Clamp, uh, bot going out with a wheel saw, so it's just like a littlest thing, and it has a gigantic <laughs> wheel like automatic <laughs> saw coming down. <laughs> All right, that is brilliant. Sweet. Uh, All right. Am I allowed to operate it, or is that next turn? Yeah, we'll go back in that way. We had Sweet. accidentally missed you, yeah. so now we're at the top of the order with Esther. Okay. Um. So. I'm so cued in with Archimede that I don't notice what's happening there in the <laughs> other bot. And I'm going to try to charge forward and pick up two of the boxes and use my spider legs to like pivot and then use my shears to clap at Humperdy. Okay. Yep. You can do that. Roll first um, as, for your first box. Roll the D6. Okay. The first box, I get. got a okay. three. I don't think it's going to hit me. A three, okay. Yeah, you know, and then as you go for the second one, you notice that it doesn't it doesn't work. Like, you can only have one at a time. But with a three, you got the mushroom. 
So you could use it real quick and then get that second box. And that gives me like higher Speed attack, food. right? You'll have sp food. like double speed this turn. Double so you speed. could, like a mushroom, yeah, like in Mario Kart. Okay. One so, up, one up, one up. so you could use the mushroom and then get the second box, like you planned. Oh, okay. Then we'll absolutely do that. Okay. We'll just keep going forward chop, chop, and continuing chop. through. All right. Roll another one. So the second one, I rolled a two. Two. Okay. This is the god f f of metalwork, Flandel Steelskin, gives your bot resistance to the ne next attack that hits it. So, <gasps> Flandel, so yeah, favor just, me! Yeah, you're coated in a steel, like you're, it looks like you're just a solid steel uh, thing. <laughs> I hardened uh, my shell. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Next, crusty. next is Arcne. Okay, so I'm going to go after a box. Okay. okay I'm, so D6. Yeah. Five. Five. Okay, you have the same. You have the Iron Hand one. Um, Garo Garo Iron Hand. So you have the same thing. AC plus thirty and speed half until your until your next turn. Fantastic. Until the, until the okay. end of your next turn. All right. So, yeah. All right. Um, and then what's what's the reach on my P scythe? Could I reach out to Poon and? Yeah, yeah, five feet. So you're slow enough, but you're all so close that you could still reach. <laughs> um, oh, I for, one more thing. Uh, Est Esther, roll a d20. Oh, okay. Um, d20. Oh, danger zone. Oh, danger zone. Sticks. Fifteen. <laughs> 15, okay, you're all good. Whew. Okay. All right, so you're trying to hit, you're trying to hit um, Humperdink, who has an AC of plus 30. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> I, I I know that much without rolling, so. Yep, you could, and you could possibly hit Esther, but no, because she, uh, she got the mushroom, so she's super fast, and you're super slow right now. So yeah, it's a very, it's turning into a defensive game here. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> Um, next up is then Dace with this new bot coming in. This right. is classic. Yeah, no. like this new music hits and some other person's running in. Yeah, it's like Cactus Jack and Mick Foley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> All right. So um, there's been visible signs that like AC has gone up and protections have happened. Correct. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So I'm. Is who's near an acid pit? Uh, no one. Everyone's just right in the middle, oh. in the danger zone. Okay, then acid uh, pit's about what? twenty feet away. All right. Then I am just going to uh, sort of yes. lurk along the side wall. Okay. About fifteen feet out from the wall. Okay. And that's it. All right. Good. Because I see that they are far too strong. Um, can I? I can tell the difference between Humperdinck and Archimedes, though. Correct? Like I know which is which. Um, because they both have the same. Yeah, they look. Right they now. look the same. So yeah, make a perception. Oh. Perception okay. check. Uh, that's in twenty. Dirty yep. twenty. Yeah, you can tell. Okay, perfect. Because I want to put myself in line a little bit more with Humperdinck than I do Archimedes. So that when I do attack. Oh, okay, cool. Why? Yeah. All right. right. Yeah. Because Humperdinck Twinks is a, is a, you know, We're OP one for one. For one. Not yeah. all for one or one for all. Humperdinck is up next. After the after this turn, you won't have the, the benefit of the castle armor anymore. Right. But yeah. You can reach... Um, oh, it is my turn now. It is your turn, yeah. Yes. Um, I would like to hit the one uh, that doesn't have the walls. <laughs> okay. Oh, and I think I keep... I keep um, I'm sorry, I'm like one round behind on this, but Arkney, roll a d20. Willing it to happen. Ten. Okay. It well, goes at half, least it had a one in it. It goes halfway down and like stops there. Yeah. And actually, something, some somebody throws some money in and like something snaps up top and it's like 
kind of hang in there. So now I think I'm going to say all these rolls have disadvantage now. Uh, what? Oh. <laughs> I thought y'all liked us. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well. They yeah they just they they love. They love me. They love everyone, but they want to see something. Yeah. Right. Uh, they love carnage. So I'm going, Next up, yep, yeah, Pumper Day. I'm going to attack with my um, <laughs> I scrolled too Your far. Knife. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. My knife. Because I'm just hitting at one person. You're hitting at Esther, right? Yes, and no, it's a, a dirty 20. Okay. So it hits, but, but Esther has resistance. Is that who you were hitting, or Dace? Um, I thought you were going for me because I'm the only one that appears to be unarmored. Oh, yes, right, and you're trying to cheat again. All oh, right, I will go after Dace. Cheater. And I hit you with... That's a seven. Seven damage on the new bot. All right. I don't like cheaters. A little hypocritical. Um, for Dink, you know, it's I can't, no longer I can't cheating. Hear you. I can't hear so, you. So yeah, Dace, your bot has twenty six hit points, armor class fourteen. Yeah. And does ten. Yeah, it's the first one there. It does the one d ten slashing with the saw. Oh, nice. Good. 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 Because all oh. that, because uh, everything was the same as mine except for that. So okay, that nice. was the only yeah. thing I didn't know. Sweet. Cool. So cool. yeah, do a um. Oh, now um, Humperdink, roll a d20 yeah. at disadvantage, because right. the thing is the thing is unstable now. It's about to fall. Um. Well, that is a 15. Okay. No, it's oh all wait, good. that sorry, that was just one. Oh yeah. 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 And that is a 10. Oh okay. Yep. It's just still going down a little bit. <laughs> Can I ha, have I used my movement? No, you haven't yet. And I, I think we're yeah, we're yeah, you haven't used your movement yet. Uh, um, can I leave the danger zone? Yes, you Maybe can. Maybe to go like toward a corner where there's a box. Yeah. Yep, you can get a box on your way out. Yes. And I know where we're running like this is right towards the end. So, I just want everyone to do one more attack and Arkney and Esther rolled into the danger zone at disadvantage and I want to see if anyone's left standing after this okay so because what's going to happen here's what's going to happen the electromagnet is pulling everyone in Ew. so if you're trying to leave the middle your speed is halved Otherwise, you're going right in the middle. Mm -hmm. Right, my speed is already gonna... halved. Yep. So you're you're I'm, in the middle. I'm uh, I I'm, I'm absolutely in, in the middle because uh, my root beer finally failed me. <laughs> yeah. That's another set up for someone to win. Oh wait, so that why'd you roll a one for the compactor? Uh, that was that was my combat roll. Oh, combat but roll. Okay. Oh, I would okay. have been moving towards someone. Okay. Okay. So, my danger zone roll was an eight. <laughs> See, here's here's what here's what we're gonna say happens. Is this the still on my turn? Um, no. This is at the oh. end of your turn. The compactor, everyone, the electromagnet pulls you in, and the compactor comes down. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! And everyone is smushed, and everyone has one hit point left. Oh, oh. but I had the the shield fortressy thingy. Oh. Yeah, uh -huh. you still have it. magnetism and a compactor don't care. You still yeah. have, you still have that shield, but it didn't protect you from this. Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Hey, so we're at the top of the order. Basically, one hit is going to take someone out. So Esther, and then Arkney, and then Dace, and then Humperdinck. Mm -hmm. Yes, I love. Who's going to be the Clockwork Combat Who Champion? Who is closest I, to me? And I win the belt of giant strength, gnome giant share. strength. Who is closest to me? Uh, we're all like right there. You can all right there. Yeah, you're all right there. You're all right there. Okay. Roto so... anchor. Roto anchor. Be the I last one standing. I don't have Roto anchor. <laughs> oh. Well, I don't have Roto anchor. Sucks but what to I you. <laughs> can do, Roto anchor. What I can do is 
So yeah, who do you want to hit? I am going to actually do a retreat, and I am going to use my spider legs to scramble over them and out of the center. And okay, take so like a defensive state. Okay, so you're disengaging and you're getting out of there. Yeah, I'm disengaging. Right. May I make a, May I make a suggestion for the fun of gameplay? Absolutely. I think you need to flip one of us onto another one of us. Because that was your that was your killing move was to like scoop someone up, flip yeah. them down. Yeah. I think you could I think you could kill two birds with one stone and still have enough movement to back the. Well, see, I see. I thought about using like the two with the bull charger, like plowing through and trying to flip them both, but I didn't know, I didn't know oh, that I could hit oh. two targets like that. Well, Ar- I, while you're doing that, Arkney, what are you gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna go after Poon because I don't want her to win. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I want to see Love what you. everyone's doing, and then we'll just roll all at once. So you're 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 retreating, maybe. So Arch we'll try going that. After we'll, we'll actually, you know, we'll try that. I'm actually gonna go with Mark. Follow okay, through. Okay, you're doing the you're doing Stick the bull. With my bull charge and scissor split. Arkney's doing going after <laughs> Humperdink. Dace, what are you doing? Uh, I'm I'm I I am also going after Humperdink with the saw. <laughs> going after Humperdink yeah. and Humperdink, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna do my spinny anchor thing and hit everybody. Okay, cool. Roto anchor. So let's everyone roll your ah, roll to hit, and we'll most, see who's left. I just would like to point out that standing there on the controls, I'm just bush, I'm button mashing now and screaming, yeah. and I can't look. Yeah. Why is like that spaz button? Oh. Okay. I should have disengaged. <laughs> I get in that one. Oh no! Um, on the other end of that spectrum, I got a nat twenty. Oh! Hey. I got a seventeen. I also got a seventeen. So roll off, Humperdink. <laughs> I think Humperdink then is dead. Huh. Yeah. But Humperdink kill. Did you? How many people did you hit, Humperdink? Oh, all um, of them. Uh, sorry, I just that was Roto one. Anchored. It was one roll, and I used my inspiration to get the seventeen. So okay, I have I have hit one person. One okay, and that's an eighteen on the die. That'll hit someone. That's two, and that's a fifteen on the die. Fifteen, I think you. I think that everyone's is, yeah. dead. I think you all yeah. took each other out. We all lost. <laughs> <laughs> so I try to charge like a, through and flip them. So and it was a big, a yeah, it was a big, and... it was a big mess, and everyone loved it. Big just scrap pile there, and then it comes down again psh, and smashes your scrap piles, oh. and everyone's loving it. Um, Gemma, Gemma runs out, and she has the belt, and she's just gonna give it to whoever Me. can most dibs. use it. Me. Dibs. Wait. Dibs. Dibs. Wait. Dibs. Question. Chat pointed out, and that's true. Oliver's character, Archimy, still had the fortress. Oh, thank you. You're right. Oh, I win. I you win. Won. <laughs> Oliver wins. Yeah. Archimy wins. Archimy wins. After all of it, after it came yeah. back up, the only thing that was remaining was the, <laughs> the stronghold. And is it disillusion? <laughs> Archimy is the winner. It's a little more <laughs> compact now. <laughs> nice. Instead of three stories, now it's two. You, you know? <laughs> win. You win the belt of gnome giant strength, and you yeah. are the clockwork combat champion. Akumi. You put it um, as you as they they put it around your waist. What is your character's strength? Um, strength. That's a twelve. Uh, <laughs> it's a ten now. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, gnome strength. So it's oh. just gnome giant, gnome giant strength. Gnome strength. So whoever wears it, your strength becomes ten. Oh, that would go up for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at a nine. <laughs> yeah. That's I'm good at ever. one thing. <laughs> oh my! All oh, right. That was beautiful. So that is it. Thank you, everyone, for playing Clockwork Combat Champion. Thank you for everyone in the chat for hanging out. You can find this adventure on the Dungeon Masters Guild. Um, All the sales go to Extra Life. Please check the links in here and go do your um, go donate to One Drop or Flint. Did we have any giveaways to do? Uh, I have. I think it's in the 
I don't technically know. have three sets to give away. So yeah, oh, awesome. I don't know how you want to do it. Well, I don't know how to do it. I'm I'm not a Twitch person, so someone who is a Twitch person can figure it out. But we know. have the the first set that failed me is the abstract bisexual sample set. Ooh. That is a seven piece set. Then we have uh, I was so sad when these ones disappointed me. Uh, silver Ink Grape 11 piece set that will go to somebody. Ooh. And and my tried and true root beer also failed me at the end. So delicious. So that is another 11 piece set that will go. Nice. So, but now let's talk about the ones that did not fail me. Non binary. Yeah. Asexual. Yeah. Pan and lesbian samples. I was wondering yeah. if I was going to get to give them all away, but I did not because I made it a simple rule. If they failed me, they can go to somebody else. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pass it on. Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. They don't. If they don't like me, maybe they'll like someone else. I don't know. True, true. Um, all right. So yeah, someone so can figure out how to do giveaways because I honestly don't know. Mm -hmm. I, don't I believe CA is typing to me. Oh, CA, I love you. Yeah, because I know there's a way to do it through the yeah, channel, the, but I don't know is. if she's got it set up that way. Because right now she just had um, yeah, I know. I, Twitch I, assigning I, random winners for giveaways. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I think someone won Earlier. last night something. On yeah, somebody won ice cream dice last night, actually. I think it was oh, Corey. Nice. Oh, I like Corey. Corey got dice. Since everybody was so, showing off their dice, I'll show yeah. off my... And then there were a couple of tabletop dice. loot wins. And Poon, did y'all ever decide if... Ooh, I like that one. Yeah. I like that one. Did y'all ever decide uh, with the Geeky Bugbear one, are y'all going to do that one later? Or do we want to do that one this game or save it for another game? What's the question? I didn't know <laughs> if it was ever decided when y'all were going to do our giveaway, if it was going to be during... My oh. game, in which case this is I my have life. no idea. <laughs> Let's see if Jordan and said anything. That, um, that's that's boss level decision. And oh, she said any giveaways you do, just let me know so I can update. <laughs> oh, um, so the oh. how? Hmm. Yeah, CA is not replying. I don't know that we have the ability to set it up during the okay. stream for an auto giveaway. If well, then. Then that's fine. Maybe we'll do it during the break. They can, they can do it towards. Here. They can also do it towards the end too, right? It's like I, One, it would two, be nice three, to people who donated, five, but six, seven, whatever. Eight, five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 20. So if we take us out of the out of the, chat. Yeah. We can roll a d twenty. Okay, uh, I will roll a d twenty from each set. Okay, and, and that will be who wins it. Okay. okay, so roll the first one. All right, so root beer is one by number seven. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would be Entrary 13. 13. All right. Uh, root beer to Entrary. Yeah. Okay, so I will, I'm just going to jump in a chat here. Oh, uh, they say that they won last night, so reroll. Oh, okay. All right. One. Who's number one? Me. Who's aggressive number sock. one? Ag aggressive sock? Yes. Aggressive <laughs> sock is number one. Aggressive underscore sock. <laughs> All right. Can anybody... So, root so, beer to aggressive. Uh, the abstract buy set goes to number nine. Number nine. One, two, Bueller. Five, Bueller. Six, seven, eight. Nine. That would be Fandros Draconis. All right. And Grape goes to number three. One, two, three. Another. Wait, what? Another TV viewer is the name. <laughs> <laughs> another TTV viewer. So another Twitch viewer. That is great. Okay. All right, uh, I don't have writing utensils, so make sure that you tell me which set you won, people. So, root beer was first. 
Grape was second. Was that right? Contact on uh, abstract by was the second one. Oh, and they okay. can contact on Twitter or in the thread or uh, Discord. Or... I've I've thrown up my email address. Well, it started that, out. The that end. is the best way because then I will ship. Hopefully, they all live in the states. Is it? Because is it at gmail.com? It is at gmail.com. Okay. okay, so ice cream polyhedrals though, not ice cream dice, because unfortunately that one was taken. Just like ice cream dice was actually taken as a Twitch name. Oh wow! So crazy. Yeah. Not the real ice cream dice. Well, and and someone took the Twitter name, and what's super funny is they live in Africa, uh-huh. and they their last tweet before they tweeted me directly about like putting a post up like, "Hey, I should have this name," right? right. Joking, obviously, because I don't really care. The, they hadn't tweeted since 2017 or earlier. I was like, "Well, yeah, somebody has but, unicorn." And what? Just, and then they don't. Tweet. <laughs> they they stole so your damn name. Yeah. Um. Okay. People so people are so cruel. It's so mean. <laughs> I'm gonna hope that this washes off my face. Yeah, I'm gonna. It's cruel. Be, like you'll live. I might uh, be. Yeah, I, th- a hat I, I think uh, Drew's wipe, jumping into a shower. Wipe down so we don't get ants. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get. Oh, you don't so... get ants. <laughs> okay, and oh, let me grab. This thing. Um... Drew, can you post a link in the chat to this wonderful adventure on the DMs Guild? Sure. Thank you. I think that I think that would be great because honestly, absolutely, it's hilarious. This is hella fun, and so I I think a perfect combination is uh, Andrew Morley who wrote um, Flavor of the Month oh. for my first Kickstarter. He wrote a framework yeah. for a wrestling promotion using some D and D rules. So if you went with like oh. the, so if you went with his framework, right for <laughs> the the actual promos part of it, like you get points for promos and stuff like that. That's awesome. And combined it with yours, ah, oh, yeah, that'd be great. Be can great you, madness. Yeah, can you send that to me? Uh, uh, yes, if I can find that link, or okay. I'll get him to send it to okay. you. Okay. Because yeah, I just uh, we we just started a a podcast called In the Dice Box Slam that is all it's wrestling lore turned into D and D action, and one of our oh. one of our um, one of our cast members is the AEW Women's World Champion Nyla Rose. Oh wow! So that is insane. Yeah, check that out is uh, every every other Wednesday we have a new episode. I am uh, I I. I would be lying if I say I'm going to listen to it, but I would not be lying if I say I am likely to listen to it at least once. Yeah. Oh, that sounds hella 